Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Bubblegum Reviews. I'm Steve, and today I will be reviewing Jingle All the Way. So this is the start of the old seasonal movies, Christmas in specific. Uh, Christmas is my favorite holiday, so this is going to be fun. I have a lot of Christmas movies. I love watching Christmas movies. I start around the day after Halloween, like watching Christmas movies, listening to music, all the... The whole nine yards. My mom kind of got me into the whole Christmas thing a lot. Um, so, this has Arnold Schwarzenegger, Phil, Phil Hartman, and Sinbad. Um, I'm actually disappointed in everybody's ratings in this movie, but I'll get to that in just a few. So, let's go ahead and start off here. We got Brian Levant. Yeah, Brian Levant. As the director, uh, he has done Beethoven and the Flintstones, most notably. The Flintstones with uh, John Goodman. I love both of those movies. So, this this is uh, this movie is like really good as well. So, yeah, we'll get into that in just a sec. <laughs> uh, IMDb gave it a 5.6 out of 10. Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 15%. A 15%? Really? Dog Bones gave it a 2 out of 4, so 50%. I give it a 8 out of 10. I was going to say 7.5, but let's just round it up because I do like this movie a lot. I've seen this movie quite a few times, I think every year for Christmas for the past like 12 years. Um, I'd say the only bad part, in my opinion, is the little boy's act. Which is a little kid, so it's like you can't really get mad at this kid for not acting right. He's he's young, but that's really the only thing. Uh, box office was one hundred twenty nine point eight million, which is pretty nice. Budget of sixty million, so it doubled. Uh, also, producer Chris Columbus, who also did the Home Alone movies and Mrs. Doubtfire. Those are great movies. You got four great movies: Beethoven, The Flintstones. Home Alone and Mrs. Doubtfire conjoined to make this movie and they gave him bad reviews like I just don't get it um, my favorite scene I will be letting you guys know for those of you that don't have, that have already seen this and care to listen to the spoilers I'm going to let you guys know that here in just a bit uh, interesting fact here is Chris Columbus wanted Joe Pesci to play Myron Myron being Sinbad's character Unfortunately, he was too deemed too short next to Arnold. Mind you, Arnold's played in two movies with Danny DeVito, who's shorter than Joe Pesci. I have I don't know how height has anything to do with this. Like Danny DeVito and uh, Arnold made two of the best movies together. Well, I, I'll say one. I don't know if Junior is one of the best, but Twins. Oh man. Um, how are you saying hype is a problem? Joe Pesci has already been in ha or in uh, Christmas movies, and he killed it in the Home Alone movies. He was great. So, doing saying that just is really weird. Uh, with that being said, Arnold was great in this. Phil Phil Hartman eh, he had a smaller role, but Sinbad man he was awesome in this movie. Um. With that being said, like I said, this is a 8 out of 10. Definitely a must watch for those of you this holiday season who have not seen this movie. This movie's great. I don't understand IMDb giving it a 5.6 out of 10. This movie is hilarious. The corny parts are so like corny that they make you laugh a lot. Isn't that good? Isn't that good? Yeah. Uh, also, to me, this movie has like almost a little looney toony feel to it like there's a scene in it where I as soon as I saw it I was like wow that reminded me of the looney tunes like Space Jam specifically uh, but anyways yeah like and subscribe you guys have a good day and I will be doing more Christmas movies you just wait they're, they're on the way I believe my next watch will be right here Trapped in Paradise this is, this is a good one as well I'll be doing that next uh so yeah, you guys have a good day, like and subscribe, and stay tuned, 
stay on here for a second. I'm going to tell you my favorite scene if you're wanting to go ahead and hear that real quick. These are for those of you that have already seen it and don't care for the spoilers. So here we go. The scene in the mall where the guys get, where they're giving away one free Turbo Man and they are giving away the little bouncy balls. That whole scene right there is so good. Ah, oh, poor baby. Oh, man. And he got to. <laughs> I, I love it. I love this movie. It's so funny. All right. You guys, uh, Stay tuned for more Christmas. Have a good day and like and subscribe. See you all later.